Eurocad. Eurocad. Oh, I like Eurocad. Let's see what the four hour is saying. It's all about the four. Hour. Uh, this could be coming down. It might come back down, retest these areas here, the lows, and then shoot up. So if I were to take this as a swing, this blue zone is where I would be looking at getting into. And what I would want to see is, uh, let me get my pen. This thing, by the way, is called Epic Pen. It's free online, $20 if you want to pay for extras. I'm just using the free version. Um, but yeah, I would be looking around here for it to come, come into this retest, go above this two, support two that I have right there. And then I would looking, I would be looking for a buy. To wherever it wants to take me. So that looks like a pretty simple setup there. If it doesn't and just moves up, I'm not interested at that point, um, depending on what the next setup looks like. But for, for me, my interest is here at this point for a daily or a swing. So you wanted to bounce off the triple bottom, right? Yeah. Okay. And especially looking at the previous candle, and this is the four hour, this wake right here suggests that it should come down more um, before it goes up. It could even go up here at support two. So that's just something to keep an eye on. It might not make it to this blue. Um, but this this general vicinity is my interest right now. And we'll have to see how market opens as well. Yeah, I can see that. On the weekly, there's no structure nowhere near in sight until like 2016. Uh, yeah. And on the daily... Yeah, I definitely see this. It, it, there's a triple bottom on the daily. Yeah. So it's either going to break that or it's going to spring to the upside. Yeah, and chances are looking more like upside. Yeah, I agree. Why do you think your chances are it's looking more upside? Well, I mean, it's tried to break it three times already. Mm -hmm. And it has not. It could break. That's why I'm watching it here. Yeah. If it breaks, then, you know, I'm not, uh, I might sell. I don't know. I'm going to have to see what the structure is. But looking at history and also like in the weekly, like uh, Glover mentioned, it has not gone below that since 2016. Um, my money is more on the upside. So go, go, go to the daily. Um, Drunken. So it's also, it's also ranging pretty well RT between mm. here, mm -hmm. you know, and then here. Mm -hmm. So, so something like that. Yeah. Something like that for me, I would be waiting to see if we get a nice rejection candle off mm -hmm. of, off of that level down there on the daily, like a shooting star or higher, higher close, with some good momentum back up to the upside. To make sure, you know, well, you can't really make sure anything, but to get a little bit more confirmation that is not going to break through that structure. Because if it does break through that structure, there's no telling when it's going to stop. Because there's nothing to stop it. There's no structure around. Mm -hmm. There's no support. So, Do we have any um, fundamentals surrounding this? Because uh, I think it's going to be in the range. Yeah, I agree with you guys. It's going to be in a range because um, Euro with the uh, 25 um, points interest rate hike. Yeah, market is, will try to price in that. And we know the Canadian is also strong, you know, because of geopolitical tensions and all that. So, uh, yeah, I think yeah, we're going to be in a range for that. That's why I'm not looking to place a buy now. I'm looking for it to come down first. Right. And then by then it'll be Monday, Tuesday, and we'll be in a better position to make a decision on that. Definitely keep this on my radar. 
I'll probably mark this as a, maybe a B minus C plus type of setup, depending on how it forms off the alley. Yeah, you got a nice motion going on here. So if it continues that, that would be great. Yeah. Triple bottoms are strong, man. Mm -hmm. All right, Euro NZD. Euro NZD. I turned that. Let's see. I don't think I tried that. Do I? No, I don't. I have this obviously marked out already. Um, missed my boat on that. But this is what I was looking at, basically. Broke out of here. Started using this as support instead of resistance. Made a high, came back, retested it, moving back up now. Could come here, retest, and then come back down. So, and then the no, fundamentals will help with that. So we'll see where this goes. But it's just been in this range for a long time now. Mm, range it. Yeah, so this one is on the radar, but right now it's in the middle of everything, so I'm not interested in that at the moment. Not as hard as EuroCAD would be. Now, GU took a nice dump on Friday. Right to there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it dumps a little more, now we got right here. Or this could be the turning point, uh, which is that which is a major zone for it at this moment. So this is something to keep an eye on and what what it does here. You see it go up, come back, retest, and move back up. That's a buy there. Mm. Yeah, FOMC on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday and Thursday is loaded and uh, with the a, red folders. You yes. also have a, a pound uh, interest yeah. rate on Thursday. Yep. Yeah, but Wednesday, yeah, Thursday yeah, yeah. for USD and GBP is huge. Yeah. Um. So for 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 the pound, I, I don't see any reasons why we should be buying the pound. Because I think the pound is going to is going to the bin. Um. Because um. I think was it um uh, was it the Financial Times was it yesterday or today? Uh, they came out. I'm not sure which one it was. They came out saying that um we we should be experiencing some recession. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anytime from now. So um, the pound is is really not in a good position as of now. And then we know we understand, you know, the Bank of England has been raising rates and it's been priced in a couple of months ago. So we don't know if they're going to increase their rates at this moment or not. But with uh, the prevailing inflation um, in the UK as of now, right, um, we see the pound weakening more. So um, I wouldn't be buying the pound, especially against the US dollar. Um, so any pullback on the pound, we should see as, as an opportunity to sell the pound against the US dollar. Makes sense. I would, um, for me personally, I would want it to break this, uh, come down, retest, and then if it does that, then I'm looking to sell. And same thing on the above, if it does retest. But, you know, uh, if we're bearish on it, then we should be looking for sales mostly fundamentally right i'll be back guys uh in the end us 30 ah uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to see what market open does. It might fall more. I'm looking at uh, a period of a 
maybe a little bit of retracement, a little pullback as uh, the big banks take positions prior to the FOMC uh, for a, a nice discount price to take their, uh, their uh, true trade. And I, I believe those will be shorts on the, uh, on the uh, uh, indices. Yeah, I think market open London until New York. This might come down before it goes up. Uh, just in the immediate future. I can see it ranging. So yeah. Now yeah, we'll see if there's any gaps as well. And, you know, I would trade the gap most likely. If, if the gap is, well, yeah. We're going to have to yeah, see where the gap is. I was going to ask if there, there is there are news on whether the um, the Fed is going to um, increase the rates to 75. I think there is. I think that is definitely an option. The consensus is 1.5. Right. And then with the news that came, the CPI news that came um, came out over the, uh, over, over the uh, past week. Negative. Well, yeah. Isn't that enough reason for them to, you know, just um, increase the rates to 75 instead of the 50? Because uh, it wasn't what the markets were expecting. So that's why we had uh, that dump, you know, the, the two days, uh, the Thursday and the Friday. So if the market is, um, is foreseeing that, then there's the probability also that the, the Fed might want to increase the rates to 75. Then that means indices, equities will be going down even more. Yeah. So the anticipation might definitely bring it down more. But, you know, this is for scalping, for me at least. So I'll just be looking for scalp opportunities. There's always opportunities to scalp. Both, yeah, in both ways, so. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Either direction. Either direction. That's the beauty of scalping. The beauty. Specs has the exact same replica chart of US 30. Let's look at EU. Uh, RT's new baby. My new baby? <laughs> <laughs> RT's main pace. squeeze. Right. <laughs> EU <laughs> pace if you know what you're doing. EU is the, the most traded pair on the uh, on the board. Right. I'm looking for it to come down. It's got to come down. Yeah, I think it's coming down more. Yes, sir. I agree. What, what do you why why are you saying it's gonna come down more? Well, uh, all the fundamentals that just Kofi mentioned. One, uh, two. We got this death cross that just happened. Um, it has fulfilled most of it, but uh, I know it's uh, fighting the support here, but I'm, I'll be looking for it to break the support and then retest, and then I'll be looking to sell to here maybe. Hmm. Now, I could do the other thing. It could just fight the support and move back up. Uh, so, you know, be watching for that, but my bias is down. Not that I'm married to the bias. Uh, I will do what it gives me, but of course. that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But uh, if you look back at your uh, Euro CAD, you're looking for it to go back the other way. Yeah. Well, uh, is there any Canadian news? But um, if, if we got the dollar weakening, chances are CAD is going to weaken a little bit too. Yeah. So against CAD, it might be, I mean, it, it, it's not going to be a huge candles up. It might range its way up. Yeah, to take its time. But, yeah. But the indications, the indications are 
that the U.S. dollar will not weaken. It'll go the other way. Yeah, but see, that's why I'm. This is four-hour chart. I'm waiting for it to come down first before I'm making decisions on buying, and I'm waiting to see if it's gonna break or is it gonna retest and go up. I want it. I want to catch it on its way up when it's tested this. It's gone past my support too. Then I'm looking to buy. That's that's confirmations of a couple of days now. Mm. So immediately I'm looking for Euro to come down first. And that's why I'm saying Euro CAD, Euro USD might come down as well. So they're going to go down first before they go up is yeah. what I'm saying. USD JPY. Oh shit, man. It's been going up. <laughs> <up it. laughs> yeah. On this, you want to look for a discount. You find a discount yeah. and you buy. Yeah, it's going up forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, anything against the Japanese yen is definitely a buy. Yeah. And even if Japanese yen gains strength, it's only for a day or two. If you can hold yeah. it, it'll go back up. That's it. Those two... The currencies are very interesting. There's a, if there is a flight to safety, that the, the, the yen will be stronger than the U.S. dollar. Yes, uh, but the yen has lost its value now as a um, oh, yeah. uh, haven, right? So people don't want to put their money in there because it's lost its value as a haven. Well, the, 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 the Bank of Japan is... Uh, his policy is to keep it keep yeah. it weak, Devalue. right? Yeah. That's but right. they have been uh, mentioning like a couple of weeks ago that uh, we didn't want it to get this that weak, as, as as weak as it got. It's causing other it's causing other problems now. Yeah, but they're still on the notion that um, a weak yen is good for the economy, so they haven't really taken um, a positive stand on the yen to say if that's enough, they want to intervene on the yen, they are still on the sidelines because they are still, you know, standing on what they've already said, that the yen is uh, weak, uh, weakened the yen is good for the economy. Mm -hmm. And that's why we see the yen weak across board. Well, I mean, uh, it is. it has been on my uh, RT money meter as the... Uh, the weakest of all the currencies. Yeah. But it's when it, when, but when uh, uh, we, we've got a, an interest rate coming, it's going to be, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up again if uh, those interest rates come in at the 1.5 that is expense, expected. Right. And uh, we'll, and we'll revisit the, the US dollar yen and, and, and see which way it went with the news. Because I'm, I'm really curious to see how uh, the, the world's uh, creditor, the loan officer, the loan, the loan capital of the uh, globe. I'm wondering, I'm wondering to see how it uh, fares against the uh, U.S. dollar. So dollar has reached a very significant place. Um, if those in those interest rate numbers hold and everything and people are still anticipating that this should be moving up more um i believe it might come down a little bit with market open until u.s session and then i expect it to move up more and as far as gold goes and in, in hands with that Ooh, that was a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. it right down here. Yeah. Um, I got so, it by uh, myself, but um, I, I got out quickly. Just scalping a few pips. So as far as gold goes, what I expect out of this, um, now I'm sitting pretty here. That's great. I expect this to maybe 
move down, up, down, the most maybe here, and then start moving up again. I kind of don't see it coming all the way down to where my entry was. I see it coming halfway at least, even and then the, moving back up. Even with the U.S. dollar uh, interest rate coming on Wednesday? Because if the uh, well, I'm, U.S. dollar yeah, goes up, that, that's not going up. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the next two days. Oh. So okay. at that point, you know, if I, if I see it break 50%, I'll take my profit. Okay. Um, if I see it reject and move back up, I might take another buy there to bring it back up here or above. Hmm. But I'm mostly looking for discounts at this point. You gotta be looking for discounts. Yeah, for another entry. Yeah. The scale is what 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 makes these uh these trades just so much better. Yeah, I mean we had we had this long range. It broke out nice and clean, went up really strong. It's ranging again. Now, depending on how the next next range candles develop, uh, will determine if this can I come down or go up, uh, and how dollar X with market open. So that's something to keep an eye on for now. <sighs> Expect the gap, maybe. Yeah. So the gaps is where it's going to determine if I'm buying or selling at that point. Uh huh. It might be a gap from the top, so it might end up starting here. Come Ooh. down, fill the gap, do that kind of stuff. Because this momentum was a huge momentum. Yep. Only reason this happened is because market was closing and people were not trading as much, so volume was low. So that's where I stand on gold. Uh, right. That's oil. I was looking at oil too, man. Yeah, on 15, it looks like it wants to come down a little more before up. On the four hour, just an up. <laughs> mm hmm. I like to see oil going up uh, for the during this week, going further up. One, one, two. It's been respecting the lines, the trend line. Yeah, so I mean, there's still some room for it to come down uh, before it goes up, but overall, I believe it should move up. Yeah. When was the last time you took an oil trade? Last time I took it was, I don't know, last year maybe. That's <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, I used to put out oil it. trades all the time. So, what do we think about Swiss? Swiss is going to get strong? Yeah, I think there's an uh, this interest rate or something of on Swiss. Was it on Thursday or Wednesday? The Swiss see something. But the expectation is um, they're gonna keep the policy rates the same. Let me see if I can bring that up. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Swiss might gain some some strength. I would be looking for buys in this blue zone that I just drew. Around here. Nice. The pound yeah. Swiss. I would want it to come down first before I make that decision. Right. Yeah, you want to have a look at Aussie dollar, Kiwi dollar. Uh, shoot, down. 
Um, let me see here. So we got this zone for sure, where it's headed to right now. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it could break that and come down a little more. Uh, to there before, before I think about buying it. But I think it's headed down for now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's anything against the dollar, I think mostly on my um, watch list this week. Yeah, but like we got all the EMAs pointing down. We're about to get yeah. a death cross here. This was the pivot halfway point. It retested it, dropped from that. It broke support two, headed to support three now. That momentum down is pretty big. Mm. So it's likelihood we might get to the lows, the PVO slow. Where we had yeah, I mean, if it gets here and if you're in a buy, you'd be in trouble. Yeah. Uh, but here is where I would see how it reacts. If it breaks it, then it's coming here. But if it rejects, uh, then I might, I don't know. I might stay clear, <laughs> but uh, we'll see what the momentum is. Yes, sir. Because it could use support three as resistance and then still fall more. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm actually looking for. Looking at, you know, using that resistance um, and then going back further down. Yeah. But for now, uh, a sell is in order. Yeah, it's a waiting game. We still need we need a break um, retest. We, we we need to see what price does before getting into uh, the market. Yeah. Any pullback? I'm looking at it as an opportunity to short. Yeah, on this one definitely. There's enough indications that it's it might be coming down. AN on the other hand. Man, it's like I... a goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like a goodbye. I don't know when was the last time I took a trade on Aussie New Zealand. I, I just not my favorite pair at all. Yeah, it's such a slow mover. It is they're so closely related. You know, it's you see a lot of uh, sideways moves. I, I just, ah. But it broke out of its uh, sideways. Broke out. It really, it's retesting now. More, more can candles are pointing more or like it's going to move up more. So um, that's a, you know, you could take it a quick one right here, where is the major zone and also the pivot. Um, mm. that's an opportunity for sure. Get it. <laughs> you want to get Japan? Yeah. What is this trend line doing here? For the hell is this trend line? Who put that there? Ig Igna. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I need to get rid of it. It's gonna be in trouble if Igna sees it. <laughs> okay, gone. Woo. That's an Igna trend line. Sometimes, like you put a trend line on another chart, and it just goes over to the next. Yeah, it happens on yeah. MC4. That's why. That's why they're magic trend lines. <laughs> they magically appear <laughs> randomly. So this is Cat JPY. It peaked, came down, is fighting the support. Um, this one also 
would be a good one to take to the pivot here with some confirmations. You look on a higher time frame. Let's hit a double top up there. Yes, on the weekly. That's and right. Even the, and even the monthly looks very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you go wait for a sell or you could take it up and then sell either way. It's going to do its thing. But I think up fresh before down. That would be great because we're going to get a discount because uh, I think shorts are in order here. Yeah. Pull back would be nice. Let me see how the market's closed on uh, strength meter. Uh, it ain't like the RT money meter, man. Just let, <laughs> just let you know. Don't get your expectations up, okay? All right. So we had CAD in the red, JPY in the green. But it's still it's still negative five zero five percent And GVP the weakest. Confirming what Kofi was saying. Ooh, future is mostly red. Yeah, I think next week is gonna be a bloodbath. Oh wait a minute, man. Uh what do you you're looking at what, uh, what's the word? What time period, what time frame are you saying that a uh, pound is the weakest? So five the minutes. The, the very shortest term? Five minutes? Five minutes, minute. yeah. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Let me go to hour. Come on, man. Come it's on, Weakest man. on the hour as well. It's weakest on the daily. It's weakest on the weekly. It's not changing numbers. Uh, one day. Oh, no, on the daily. Oh, daily, sorry. Yeah, it's just the daily. Yeah, it's just the daily. Why Why would I, why, why I'm bringing it up is because over a 15 week, over three months, um, I, that's what I track the, uh, how it moves in, in, in the, in a three month period. And, uh, I have, a. Uh, Japan staying steady and GPP staying steady is the two weakest with Japan being weaker, weakest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is just daily movement. Yeah, of course. The, the yen is the weakest of all the currencies. So that's understandable. So I'll be um, looking to sell GBP JPY. <laughs> GBP JPY. Yes, I like the structure on the four hour. Uh, it's, I think it's it's making its way down. Yeah. GBP JPY. Um. Yeah. But not for long though. Yeah, it's overall still bullish, Mommy, but if hello. yeah, that could be a discount for a buy. It should come down first before up, but I don't think it's gonna come down that much. It is gonna come down, but then it's gonna go back up. So we're looking at maybe around here where I would be getting out on a sale. Yeah. I mean, unless market structure changes, but for now, um, I do see it coming down, but not too far. Yeah, I think that momentum from Friday may carry over for the next couple of days when we get it. 
you know, markers going in the same direction that it was doing on Friday. That was a, that was some strong ass momentum. Yeah, but I mean, RT also mentioned something that you know the Formec will uh, redesign things on how the market makers want uh, for them to buy at a discount or sell at a discount. Yeah. I, I totally agree, uh, Blower. Uh, thinking that uh, they're going to use it as an excuse to get these guys uh, into positions for uh, discount prices so that it could continue uh, that bullish uh, push that uh, gave the U.S. dollar its strength. It's going to continue with the, uh, uh, that rate hike if it comes in at the expected numbers. So they're going to be looking for discount prices up until Wednesday. I can see it. I can see uh, what you're talking about for sure. I mean, because there's nothing in the way on CJ, you know, coming down to the downside. Often there's no there's there's no structure, and then if you kind of looking at it, there's nothing on the on the daily. That's a big ass double top. You said on CJ or GJ? Sorry, uh, GJ, British Pound, Japanese. Okay. Oh, that's a double. It's a big like double top sitting up there. Yeah, I like the candles as well. You know, that bearish candle. It's almost like. And then on the yeah. weekly, it really looked appetizing. I mean, it's perfect double top off the weekly. So. Yeah. <clears throat> You got to be careful dealing with uh, GJ. Is is it's very dense right now with pips. I don't know what you call that, but it's like you move a hair, and that's like fifty pips. Four hour also made um, mm -hmm. some uh, market shift, price action shift, a higher high, higher low. Sorry, lower high, lower low. I was about right, to say so. we're higher high. high. <laughs> 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 Y'all yeah, reading this yeah. thing different than I do, man. man. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, RT. I'm not trying to take your post from you. <laughs> no, man. No, no, man. Not at all, man. Right. Um, yeah. So if I, I'm looking for a pullback, like say yeah. Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. If I can get that pullback I'm looking for, I'm going to sell the heck out of, you know, GJ. It's going to be nice if it's a, a nice pullback for a discount price. That'd be nice, yeah. right? Right. So it's a waiting game. We shall see. What are you looking at? I saw you looking at uh, Germany, uh, uh, drunk. Yeah, it looks like it wants up. Uh, uh, listen, I, I know I it might know want it. up. But it might not have a choice. <laughs> Just look at all that momentum to the downside, man. I mean, hey, yeah, it's, it's insane. Yeah, Friday. It might want to be oversold too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Way below twenty. I think I'll buy some Germany market open. And we, and it, it, we got a, a a cross, a death cross pending. It's on. It's, it's on its way. <laughs> Could bounce here though. Could get a bounce. I think it, it it should come down a bit, and then London should buy it up. Yeah, I think London would might be good for Germany today. Yeah, so it should come down a bit, then come come buy it up during London. Me and the London boys will buy it up. <laughs> Listen, that's a good question. How many London traders do we have in the group? Coffee. Just coffee? No, we got coffee. Dave all joins a lot of times when we do London. Um, I, 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 I used to DM. have a full team of London before. I send him a DM, Dave. Oh, oh Dave, big Dave. And uh, I haven't received a, uh, an answer yet. He might be fishing out there in the sea. <laughs> um. Yeah, this this definitely I will check it out at midnight my time, which is London Germany. Open. 
Germany. Okay. Does London open? It shoots. When it picks a direction, it goes. Yes, sir. Yeah, I remember we used to do London. Yeah. Germany, Germany was paying quite much. And we had our uh, strategy too, waiting. Right. And it worked at least 80% of the time. Sometimes we'd get fucked, but 80% um, of the time it hit. Uh, UK is in the same boat, but UK looks weaker than Germany to me. Yeah, I think UK is peaked because it's it's come to um come to the top. It keeps retesting, you know, the highest points, and then any time it retests, it comes back down. Uh, so, so that's like also that. good to note that you know that's a sell point right there. Yeah. Guys, I gotta run, man. I'll catch up with you guys later. All right. All right, now. Yeah, I'll be on five more minutes, then I'm going to go eat. Right. But as I said, I mean, mostly we got to wait for this market open, see which way it went, where the gaps are. And then we're going to have to let it settle in and then think about buys and sells. No need to rush. Yep.